All right, Christian, this video is for you. Um, here's the 1983 uh, Hutch uh, Pro Star. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around and then I'm going to get into some of the other details and get closer shots. But I'm just gonna do a, a, a walk around here. I'll go uh, as slow as I can so you could uh, zoom in. Okay, it's the, it's the front. Okay. All right, so um, I bought this about uh, six years ago from uh, someone off of uh, eBay. Uh, I believe they were the second owner. Uh, when I bought the bike, and I'm gonna send you the original pictures of what it looked like when I first got it, but um, you know, the, there was a little bit of rust on it, and so I had to uh, take care of it, and so the first thing I did was these, uh, let's talk about these forks. So these forks are the original 1983 Hutch forks. As you can see, it's not drilled in the front. Um, these forks had a, a big spot of chrome, I'm sorry, of rust. I think it was here on this side, a big rust spot and that bothered me. So um, I went out uh, to a really good chrome plater here in the US. Um, he did a fantastic job of re-chroming the forks. And there go the pads, are blown away. Look at that. Uh, I'll have to go get them. I'll be right back. All right, and now we're back. Okay, so like I said, this fork was re-chromed. Um, really nice job. In my opinion, it came out absolutely perfect. Um, so obviously, since I had to re-chrome the fork, um, I had to get new decals. So the, the bike also on the fork has new decals. So these are the only decals on the bike that are um, the newer ones that, that Hutch has today. Unfortunately, I couldn't you know, save the old ones, but these are new, okay? Now, uh, let's talk about the hubs. I know you're interested in the hubs. So these are the original you know, hubs to the bike, as you can see here, all right? Original decals, they have a little bit of pitting on them. I'm just gonna spin the tire around, all right? So you can see the decals kind of lifting on one side. It's got the fat stars, exactly what they, the way they did back in the day. You can see it's got like the right hardware, original hardware, the nuts, the, the collars off of the bearings. Um, you know, like I said, it's got a little bit of pitting, but um, let me put it into the sun. But I think if you really wanted to, these would definitely shine again. I just never bothered to shine them because they're a little bit dull. The chrome's a little dull just from age, right? But if you want to clean them up and shine them, if you have the patience to get in there with your hands, you know, it's totally up to you. Um, so let me go on the other side. All right, so if you could get a good look here as well, right? So we got original hardware, um, collar stays, all that good stuff. So let's talk about these rims. These are the original array of rims that came with it. They're in very good condition um, for the age. There's really like no no pinning on them whatsoever. I'm just gonna spin it and show you. All right, okay, get a good look at them. Very shiny in the sun. Okay, that's not an original Hutch cap. That's an aftermarket Raya sticker. Still in very good condition. He's a 20 by 1.75s. So again, these rooms are in very good condition. Um, let's talk about these tires. Now these tires are the uh, aggressor R R. RAs. Uh, uh, this one here is a 20 by 2.125, I believe. Yep. And these are what they came with back in '83. You can see the tread. Yeah, they're a little discolored. Yeah, they're, they're old. Um, now, whether or not these are original 1983 tires, I don't know, but they're uh, definitely original um, from that time period, right? Because that's what they came with. So, you know, whoever had this bike originally, if these are the original tires, which they may be. Uh, but this is exactly what they came with. These are Carlisle's, as you can see. Um, definitely pretty good condition. Um, so this may be the original tire, uh, or, or at least it may, if anything, it, it would have been changed and they use the same exact one that the bike came with, okay? Um, so anyways, that's the tire. Uh, holds air, you know, it's got plenty of air in it right now. You know, I filled them up last time I sent you the pictures. Um, let's talk about the headset here. Okay, so this headset is the Tange MX125 headset. Let me try to focus in on it. 
as you can see, it looks really good, right? That's because this piece, these cups, the top, okay, as well as the bottom had to be re-chromed. And these were re-chromed uh, because they had rust on them. And, then, and I had to get reproduction decals uh, for these as well. But these are the correct decals for the, you know, the MX125 you know, headset. So um, these were redone, okay, and put back on. Okay, just as you see here. Let me get to the other side. Right, so you can see on this side. All right, so the chrome guy who did the, he did everything. Uh, all, this, all the parts I got re chrome were all done at the same time. Okay, so there it is. Now, let's talk about the head tube decal. So this is the head tube decal. This is original to the frame. You can see by the wear, right? Um, let me focus in on that a little bit better. So there's a bit of wear on this decal, you know, which is good, which is what you want to see. Um, okay, as you can see, the number one way to tell it's original is by looking at these stars. Right. Those are the fat stars that they used, and all reproduction decals do not have fat stars. They're the skinny stars, um, so, but again, this shows the right age, right, for the frame. Um, so to me, this is, this is in, in my opinion, the, the original decal sticker, this was not replaced. And I'll tell you why. Um, moving up here is the, uh, the, the, the two-in-one um, headset um, lock, I forget what they call these things. Um, you know, the, the stem stiffener is what it's called. This is the tall one, this is the two-inch one. Um, so I upgraded it to two-inch. I didn't like the little one, so I took that one off and I used this one. This is also a re -chrome piece, perfect condition. Um, I personally think that it looks a lot better with the two-inch. So I went with the two-inch. Uh, that's my preference. Um, so you can see here how nice and clean that is. Okay, this is the original um, Hutch uh, Pro Race stem. Okay, so this is original. Uh, you can see by the curves, by the finish of the chrome. This was not re-chromed. This is all original. Okay, um, I'm not sure if all the bolts are original. Um, kind of on the fence with that. I'm not really sure. They may or they may not be. I'm not sure. But they're not stripped. Everything everything works perfectly. There's no wobble in the stem. It's a hundred, It's just as you expected it. Now with this one here, um, you know, if you look at the bolt, you know, it's got, you can barely see them anymore, but it does have the six points, you know. Uh, it's all worn out though. Uh, I'm sorry, let me focus in here. So normally these stem, these stem bolts are supposed to have the six dashes and it does have it. They're just very worn out but you do see it and it's recessed for the for the washer it's also recessed underneath um and that's where the uh, what you call it uh, you can see there that's where the, the two ones supposed to connect up in there so that's also recessed but you know original chrome original finish on that moving on up the handlebars handlebars are original i was going to re-chrome them but i didn't uh i did want to leave some of the patina and and uh although it was bothering me a little bit i got over it because uh and I'm glad I didn't re-chrome them because it was, it's better off to leave them this way. Um, so you can see some of that on the chrome. Uh, but still, I think these are still very nice handlebars. Um, they're not that bad at all, actually. You know, if they were bad, I would have redid them. Uh, these grips here are the are the original um, Hutch BMX grips. This one's a little, little t tear over there, uh, but these are original. Right? So you know that because it says the word BMX, right? over there yeah the new ones all say BMX okay so this one here too I don't know if you can see it or not but this one here also has the uh, there you go, BMX right on there and this one's not blown out this is in really good shape um, yeah there we go so let's see I'm not focusing well okay In terms of uh, brake, this is the original Diacon from 1983 brake lever. Um, I know it's stamped somewhere. Um, I think it's underneath. Let me see. Uh, no, it's not there. I think it's somewhere. I can't see it. It's actually inside the uh, inside that housing, but it is 1983 and uh, it's inside there. You can't really see it. Um, now this brake cable, um, 
was replaced. I replaced this one, and it took me about two years to find it. This is dated July 25th, 1983. It had a regular plain black cable, which is what you would expect, but it's a new old stock die comp. You can tell by the the cup, the coupling here. It's got that stainless steel finish that, that, that you know is, is, this is all original from 83. It took me two years to find that, um, and I finally found it, and I put it on. Um, so let's keep moving. Talk about the frame. Frame's in really awesome condition for what it's worth. Again, original decals, you can see the wear and tear on that, right? But the, I'll, I'll show you this front, this side here, but look at that chrome. This is why they, these were the Hutch Pro Stars, because they were hand selected, the chrome was perfect. Look at this decal, Hutch Pro Star. This is original, look at how beat up it is. Not terrible, but it is beat up. It's got wear and tear on it. So you know that, you know, a little bit of lifting here see that uh, but whatever it's what's it, you, that's what you want to see right if, if it's a perfect decal you got to question it right because then I don't I don't believe that it's a true built pro star I'm sorry true uh, uh, factory built pro star right you could you could build one of these up you won't find this decal though you'll find the other one not this one um, you could build them right but um, a pro star when you ask the real guys, they'll tell you a real pro star is one that's 100% complete and bought complete, right? So I'm just gonna continue going over this frame. And I'll talk about the other components in a bit. You can see that um, 4130 sticker there. Okay, look at these the the rear uh, decals here a little bit worn out. Pro racer, that's what you expected. The, the brake bridge hutch is in perfect condition. There's no cracks in it at all. Um, I'll talk about that caliper too. Uh, so frame continues down here, right? So let me see if I get this thing to focus. There we go. So we'll talk about that on the pedals, we'll talk about the cranks. Let me go on the other side, show you the other side of the frame. Okay, you can see nice and straight. Now this frame is a one, two, three serial frame. Um, let me see if I can get that. Uh, the tip over so stiff in there but it is a one two three frame uh all 83s had a serial stamping of one two three in the first first three digits of one two three 84s always started with zero one four that's it that's all you had back then one two threes were the 83s zero one fours were 1984 so here's the other decal pro racer Move this out of the way okay there's a seat post mast Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. So here's the other side of the frame. Okay. All right. There's a decal. You can see it's a little beat up. That's what you kind of expect for a bike this age. The sun's on this side, so it's a bit, um, might be hard to see chrome, but this chrome is nice. There's no rust on this thing. On the frame itself, there's no rust anywhere. Super nice, the welds are beautiful, all, all done by hand. It's all hand welded, no machines. You can see that. You can tell it's all hand welded. Um, okay, so we talked about the front half. Let's go into, let's start here with the seat. Okay, so this seat here, this is the original seat to the bike. It is an original Hutch Casio Max Aero seat. Um, I'm having a hard time zooming in on this thing. It's a little beat up. You can see in the top there, right? Um, just let me get to you. See, look, you see it's a little beat up? Yeah. But you know what? This is the original seat. It's got a little crack over there. Didn't go through all the way. So it's holding out. Um, I could have replaced the seat with another Cashew Max Arrow, Arrow uh, seat. You know, but you know what? It wouldn't have been a hutch. This seat alone is so rare, they never come up. You never find the seat. Okay, and I'm gonna see if I can show you, but you can see the seat of the, seat of the hutch in there? You can still see, it's, a little, it's worn out. These things always got worn out. See the hutch stamping? Never find this seat. The seat alone is, I don't know how much this thing would sell for, but even in this condition. Okay, uh, let's talk about the seat post. This is the original Hutch seat post. Um, I did have to have this rechromed as well. They did a pretty damn good job on the rechrome. Some nicks in there and the metal. I see those little nicks right there, but beautiful. Um, this, 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 um, obviously, this coin decal was, was replaced. Uh, let's talk about the. Uh, C-clamp. This C-clamp here was also re-chrome because it, it was in bad shape. Um, the guy chrome guy did again did a really nice job on this stuff. Um, a little shaky, yeah, but make 
can see the seat post, super nice. Original guts to the seat, it's dated correctly. Yeah. See that, looks really nice, okay. All right, let's, uh, let's move on down. All right, so now we're down here. Let's talk about the drivetrain. Okay, so when I bought the bike, um, <clears throat> it did not have these hutch, um, let me zoom. Zoom out a bit here, okay. It didn't come with these hutch cranks, okay. It did though come with the hutch power disc, which is original from 1983. It did come with the original Sugino uh, 44 tooth uh, crown uh, wheel, right? So you can see there, get the focus, okay. Now, what it did come with, I said these hutch aerospeeds, these are aerospeeds from back in the day. Okay, he's a <clears throat> the real deal of aerospeeds. Now, what they come with was a red line, um, the red line uh, 401 um, you know, full wrap. I think they were 175 millimeter cranks. Um, I got them on some something else. But uh, these uh, th these cranks I had to purchase um, in the marketplace. Okay, now these were redone. These were rechromed because uh, I don't have. You know, if you took these apart. You don't have the stamping on them anymore because they were rechromed. And the other thing the guy did, which um, he rechromed that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, see that expansion bolt in there. That's chrome. He he chromed that also. So he made them like more like show chrome. But these are really nice cranks. Um, <clears throat> I will say though that uh, the pedal spindle going into the uh, um, crank was a bit tight going in there. <clears throat> now. The threads, when I remember putting them in there, they, they looked all in good condition. So um, they're, they're a little tight, but uh, once I take these apart, if I box this thing up and I take it apart, um, I may want, I may actually end up cleaning them up a bit to see if I get those pedals to thread on a bit better. Because uh, I do have the, uh, the tool to do it. You know, if you don't want me to, I don't have to. But I probably will have to take these pedals off. Um, they all greased with anti-seize grease, so, you know, um, I did move them a bit out. And you can see there's a little bit of a gap there now, because I did back them out a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, so these are the uh, the Hutch Arrow Speeds. They were quite a bit of money. Um, but again, I don't want red lines on them. Uh, and then going back to the disc, here there's also Sagino chain wheel um, bolts. They're all stamped Sagino. Uh, if I could zoom in on that, there you go. Sagino. Okay, um, <clears throat> pedals are the original pedals of the bike. Brown bearings, as you would expect. Um, these are original Hutch pedals in really good shape. You know, they got a little bit of scuff mark. But what I've owned this bike didn't really ride it a whole lot. You know, you could tell. In really good shape. You know, I believe these to be original to the bike. Given the condition of the frame, the stickers, the wear and tear, it all matches. So, um, I believe that to be original. Okay, um, we go to the other side of the crank. Here's the other side, the, the non-drive side. Now, the other thing you're gonna notice about this that I noticed as well, which is a little strange to me, but um, I had to shim these out a little bit because the Pro Star frames um, were very, very wide in the back. So you can see how wide this is. Now these cranks, these um, Hutch um, aero speeds fit the, the Trick Star frame very easily, no problem. There is a chance um, that, that these cranks were made more for the freestyle bike and you know no one really knew that i didn't know that either so anyway in order to make these work i had to shim them out a little bit as you can see there, there's a few shims there's three shims out there um, in order to clear the chain stay in the back so now i got good clearance back there that's why this is a bit recessed um but again you know doesn't totally bother me a whole lot you know um but that's what i had to do to get these to work you know things aren't perfect so you know, this is what i had to do so here's the other hutch pedal uh, brown bearing as well, just like you expect. You know, same wear and tear as the other side. Um, you know, it's all in line, in my opinion. It looks looks the way it's supposed to, given the wear and tear in this thing. So, these are the bear trap pedals, right? Um, here we go in the back. Oh, let's talk about the chain. This is the original Azumi chain. This is what they came with. Um, it's got the wear on it too. Again, matches the bike. They're all salt stamped Azumi. I don't know if I'm catching that on the camera or not. But this is the original Azumi chain, the black and um, silver chain, right? It's got, you came and see it. It's got very slight, slight rust on it uh, on the other side. Okay. Let's see 
Stampede, Stampede Zumi there. Really good shape. Um, what's this? this uh, yeah, that's a little flake on the rear, cr rear chrome, on that rim. Um, anyway, rear tires. These are the same shape as the front. I think this was replaced. Some cracks in the tire to be expected. Something is old. Um, th these are also 2.125 if I remember correctly, which is odd because I believe they came with two with 1.75s in the back. Um, where's the size? Aggressor RAs. Yeah, see, it says 2.125. Oh no, I'm sorry. These, these are 1.75s. Oh, I always thought there was a. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. These are 20 by one. Point. Oh, sorry. No, these are 20 by 2.125s. So they put they put a fatter tire in the back, you know. Which, you know, this this is what it tells me that the person, you know, whoever had this wanted fat tires in the front and the back. But these are pretty freaking old. You can tell by the cracks in this one crack. Well, again, that they hold there. This is all filled up right now. Oh, it's all full, nice and full. So it's holding in no problem. Um, okay, this rear caliper here, original to the bike. Um, it's got the wear on it, you can tell, but still very clean, very nice chrome. This is chrome, this is not silver polish. This is all plated chrome, the way it's supposed to be. Um, stamp 1983, it's missing this decal, but who cares about the decal. These pads are even original, look at these pads. These are the original die comp, uh, these are original die comp pads, I believe. I know I sort of, pretty sure I saw die, oh, here we go, this one has die comp written on it. Uh, if you can see that, hold on, let me put it in here. There you go, die comp. See, these are the original pads, I believe, because it's so freaking old. <laughs> um, this has got to be original to the bike, too. Um, again, I don't think this bike was really ridden a whole lot by whoever, whatever kid had it back in the 80s, and it must have sat for a very long time um, somewhere. Like I said, it did have some rust in certain places, some odd places, but um, but yeah. All right, let's talk about the freewheel, to my knowledge. I didn't, I never really looked into this one here. I never got a qu quick look at it, but there's no reason to believe this, is the, this should be the original free wheel to the bike. Um, I'm going to spin it around. Again, look at the hub. It's got the same pitting as the front. Not more, not less. It's the same thing. So again, these are the original wheels, in my opinion, to the bike. Um, you can look at the sticker, right? It's not perfect. It should be perfect, right? That's how you know. This is, this is original to the bike. Now these rims here are in pretty decent shape. Not as good as the fronts. A little bit more wear, you know, on them. I'm gonna spin it here a little bit for you. But still very, very nice um, rims. There isn't any rust on them. There's just like pitting. Like it's normal pitting to see that, right? Um, let's see all that. There it is. Yeah, see this is a little faded, the Ray sticker. But again, that's kind of what you expect. You know, you don't really know how people store these things, where they kept them. You know, uh, this this one I don't believe was kept outside. This one I've had to guess. I believe slight slight pitting on the on the spokes. Again, showing their age. Um, <clears throat> I believe this one here was going to uh, was probably stored in a basement. Probably a little bit of dampness in there. You know, um, got a little bit of damp on certain spots, and certain spots rusted, and other some spots didn't. That's why I had to re-chrome some of these things. But anyway, um, take a look at the crank here. As you can see, it's got the right clearance now, all right? But, um, yeah, this thing spins pretty nice. Yeah, it's not that much wobble on the chain either. I think it's pretty straight, what it is. If I get this freaking phone, to this, there we go. It spins pretty nice. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, that's pretty damn good for an idiot's for inside that much. Um, so yeah, uh, there we have it, right? 1983 Pro Star, you know. And it is a sweet bike, man. Let me tell you, you never find. I never found another one like this, you know. And if people don't sell these things, they, they hold on to them for a long time. You know, I'm even torn about it right now. To be honest with you, you know. Uh, this is the iPhone 11 Pro, and I still can't freaking focus. Anyway. Um, just stand back a little bit more. Okay, let's use a wide angle lens. Here we go. Okay, you know, I'm gonna go around it again. Okay, yeah. This, this is what this is what a pro star should look like. 
or original Pro Star, or as close to original as you can get. If you could find one of these brand new in 19, you know, from 1983, good luck, man. You ain't never gonna find one. Not unless you got a time machine. You got a time machine? We'll go back in time and buy a whole bunch of these things. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, yeah. Let's go over it one more time. Freaking cold out here. You guys in the UK have a little better weather than we do. Don't get those as cold out there as us here. <clears throat> Every time I've been to the UK, a couple days of sun. Weather pretty good though, you know, temperature wise. But uh, here we go. The, these are the, uh, what do you call um, The bearings, right? That the Dodge pranks came with. But here you go, man. This is, in my opinion, as good as it gets. Not a build-up. This is a 100% complete port bike all together. That's how you want them. All right. Like I said, I'll send you the pictures of what the parts looked like originally, how originally it looked when I first got it. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, this is what this is what she is. All right, man. Um, let me know if you want anything else to know about the bike. Uh, I think I told you everything. Oh, one last thing I'm gonna show you is the pads, right? That's one of the last thing. So these pads, um, I'm gonna show these to you, but I don't believe these are original to the bike, you know? Uh, these are zap pads. You know, they do have some wear and tear, some cracking. You know, these are definitely old. I don't know how old they are, but I suspect they're not from 1983, okay? The reason why I say that is because the material or the finish on this, on, on the originals, I believe had a much shinier chrome finish on them so these are probably you know later on the, these were probably done they're here they're all zap heads and they're all the same you know so i'm not gonna stand behind these being original I, I don't believe they are they are cracked they do have some fading they do have some patina which is nice so these are definitely not the new ones from uh what you call it the new ones that i've made from hutch today definitely not um you know so probably older if i would say it's probably reproduction somewhere i would put these somewhere in the 90s i would say maybe uh maybe even late 80s i'm not really sure because hutch hutch changed the way they made the pads over time right um they started out really strong <clears throat> really everything high end you know and then as time went on they shipped things over to uh japan then to then to, then to taiwan and then it all just kind of imploded and they all went out of business all right so and now they're they got bought by uh that guy John, uh, something, I forget his last name now. Um, but anyway, that's what you got here with these pads. So, um, 